Hello, Zebraherd! Welcome to Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville, the newest Plants vs. Zombies game, a full sequel to the Garden Warfare series. I am so excited for this. They just announced the game, and it is already available to play through the Founders Pack. Basically, this is little tidbits of the game that we can play until the game launches on October 18th. So welcome to the first episode. We have done over 400 episodes of Garden Warfare 2, and we're gonna be doing more hopefully in Battle for Neighborville. If you guys are excited, be sure to let me know. But with that being said, let's get started with Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. I am like so excited for this. What is happening? Oh, there's the sunflower, hi. The yeah, night patch and everything. Neighborville closed due to invasion. Well, that's not good. Wow. Neighborville, Giddy Park. Oh, this, this does make me giddy. Look at this place. Too bad it's being invaded by zombies. Neighborville, Zomboss HQ. Look at all these different places we can adventure. Neighborville, Dave Manor. I thought we were going right now. I sure hope so. Wow, you're the new recruit? Awesome, I'm Major Sweetie. Hi, Major Sweetie. Welcome to the fight. Neighborville's getting invaded big time. All these zombies want to get brains. Oh, you are so cute. But instead, they're going to get destroyed. Then I'll water myself in their tears. Yippee, hooray! I have a real important mission for you in town center, but first, there's lots to do and see here in Dave Manor. And there are a few stations here that are especially important. Check him out. Multiplayer portal, join online matches. Oh boy. Giddy Park, practice your combat. Changing booth for changing characters, team switch to swap to zombies. Penny, travel to town center, and little Steamy to travel to something. There's a lot more to do, it can be a bit overwhelming. If that face of yours wants to learn more. I've hidden stuffies with recorded mini quests. Ooh, so there's like a story mode we can do. Oh, look at all these pea shooters. Those are other players, by the way. Why stuffies? Because they're soft and cuddly and make cute noises when they explode. You'll see. Come talk to me after you find them all. I'll give you what's in this treasure chest. Ooh, so I wanna say right now, this is super cool. There are other players running around. We're gonna be playing a ton of this game, of course, like I said, in Garden Warfare 2, we did over 400 episodes. I was so proud of that. And we're gonna be playing more Garden Warfare 2 in the future, don't get me wrong. But Battle for Neighborville is here, and I'm gonna be playing so much of this, so stay tuned and let me know what you'd like to see. We're we'll gonna be doing showcases on all the game modes, all of the locations, and all of the classes, including the new ones, the new Mushroom Nightcap, the new uh, Acorn and Torchwood mech thing, and then there's also on the zombie side the space cadet and the what's it called? Uh, the space cadet and the disco zombie. So lots of new stuff to check out. We're gonna be checking out all of it in this series, and today we're starting with the story mode by checking out Sweetie's helper missions. So we're playing a species right now, and it seems like he has his basic abilities. He has his hyper jump. He has his Gatling P. Nice, and it also has the chili bean bomb. Nice. So you can see that I already have him up to level four because I was playing the little like game mode to let you play. Oh, meeting Rux. Psst, have you met Rux? Cause he's the coolest. He specializes in giving gifts. Did you hear that? Giving gifts. If you have a gift coming for you, he's likely holding on to it. Also, he loves shiny sparkly things like bling. Who doesn't? But back to the gift giving. I gave him a gift to give you. Go get, get the gift from Rox. So Rox was in Garden Warfare 2, he makes his return here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't, like, I can't contain myself. Hey Rox, talking stuffy is time to him. I bet those are valuable. Oh, are you gonna take them? Look at all of your stuff you have here. Rox's Emporium. Sweetie begged me to give you these coins. I said sure after I take my tra la la cut. Oh boy. Rux's Emporium, visit Rux to claim gifts. Oh, so we get weekly founder rewards for having the founder's edition. This is ears of defense for the Snapdragon. That's another new thing. Weekly founder's reward, fire goggles for the Snapdragon and the flame defender. So this is like a fire defender set. They have item sets. I can't believe in also the splash tail 
for the Snapdragon. So we'll do set showcases as well. 30,000 coins as well. Thank you so much for that. Anything else? I hooked the first stars up with their shine. Uh, looks, uh, look out for me and I'll look out for you. View inventory doesn't seem like it can do anything. Um, I guess because we've already cleaned them out. That was awesome. So let's go ahead and talk to you again. You met Rux, isn't he so great? I hope you liked my gift. I wanted to get something that's perfect just for you. Alrighty then, well we got that one. Oh, and then they explode in glitters, which gives me another 5,000 coins. Nice. All right, so, oh, whoa, look at this. It's another player. This guy has the Snapdragon stuff on. That's very cool. What's going on over this way? Whoa, I see a nightcap player. This place is so cool. This is a changing booth. We'll check that stuff out soon. I wanna focus on whatever these stuffies can offer me. Character upgrades. Everyone's different. You say tomato, I say vanquish all zombies in the face. <laughs> Battle your own way by equipping upgrades. Head to the changing booth and equip an upgrade now. Then come talk to me again. Alrighty, so the changing booth. Equip an upgrade on your character. Over this way? I think so. Changing booth, change characters or customize their appearance. Set up character upgrades to maximize your play style. Each character has three presets to customize. So here are all the playable plants in the game. We have Pea Shooter, Chomper, Colonel Corn, Nightcap, Snapdragon, Cactus, Citron, Acorn, Sunflower, and Rose. So you counted correctly, there are 10 different plants to play. The big difference for this game and why it's not called Garden Warfare 3, in my opinion, is that there's no variant. So there's no fire pea shooter or electric cactus or I don't know, frozen snapdragon or anything like that. They're just these classes. But you know what, that might be a good thing. I don't think you know change is bad. But that being said, yeah, we can upgrade by pressing the touchpad. So what is this? Upgrades customize, seven upgrade points I can use. Uh, combo. Faster refresh time for all abilities by earning multiple vanquishes rapidly. That sounds cool, I'll apply that one. Um, so we also have like refresh and revive, faster refresh time for all abilities by reviving an ally. So it looks like if we do things, we'll get uh, some good stuff for it. Uh, rough patch. Wait, what, what, what is this one? Spawn with more health after suffering multiple vanquishes in a row. Low life. Gain health by earning a vanquish when at low health. That's cool. Uh, fearless, regenerate health when near multiple enemies. Okay, that's gonna take up two slots though. So I could um, unequip this one and do critical blow. Faster refresh time for all abilities by earning a critical vanquish. And then, whoa, there's so many more too. There's a speedy move faster except when sprinting. Uh, vampiric, gain health by earning a vanquish. Earn experience faster, which sounds nice for now. I'm guessing because we can earn more upgrade points if we you know, probably do that. So that's something I'm looking into. And it looks like there's some other things for abilities and such. Um, and then ready up, use weapons and abilities faster just after sprinting. Let's do the leveling up. Very cool. And we'll mess with that for some other, uh, other plants soon enough. But for right now, I'm just focused on that. So hey, I did it. Did you equip an I'm Sweetie's fave upgrade? Looks good. <laughs> Every fighter can equip and earn more upgrades by getting promoted. Oh, and try different upgrade combos to find your style. My style is explosive. Alrighty, well, there's another one done. She's gonna explode into a bunch of money. Another 5,000 coins granted. What is this? This is a cool looking room. Whoa, whoa! It's a piano! <laughs> That's pretty cool. And here's Crazy Dave and some fancy getup. All right, so there's still so many more places to explore. That's what I'm mostly focusing on today's episode. We'll do more about this stuff later. Hello. Set sail to town center and go and to go to glorious battle. Dale Boat. You look cool. Uh, what's going on in here? There's another changing booth. There's whatever this is. Maybe you'll explain it for me. The XP machine. Being a major, I've experienced a lot of things. If there were points for experience, I'd have a lot. You might call these points XP. <laughs> a new recruit like you can always use more XP. Here, take these coins to that XP machine. It'll put leaves on your chest. Not a guarantee. <laughs> Alrighty then, so let's try this 15,000 coins which we can now use to get this experience over this way. So, boost our experience for 15,000 coins and we get to level five. So we got 2,000 experience for that and we can do that again if we wanted to. I'm gonna leave it for now. Um, level six achieved as well. Wow, okay, we got some coins in return for doing all that. 
Whoa, did you s just age 80 years? You look so experienced. Next time I need worldly advice, I'll come talk to you. All righty. Bye. <laughs> this is so cool already. All righty, so what's going on over this way? Ooh, target practice. Uh, the target range. These targets are great for zombie shooting practice. I like to leave the broken pieces of these targets in beds in the beds of zombies. Wow. Just so they know what I'm capable of. <laughs> Why don't you try? Destroy five round targets. Five round targets coming up. Ready? Boom. Bam. Oh, I almost missed that one. Okay. Oh, I, I, I didn't miss that one. Okay, there we go. Was that five of them? Looks like it. We're doing pretty good. That was inspiring. If this stuffy could cry, it would. Instead, how about an explosion? <laughs> I love how giddy they are. There we go. Another bunch of coins for that. That's super cool though. And we also have these to beat up the all-star things. Oh, oh, look at the ninja dude up there. That's another player. How cool is that? So it looks like, wait, what's going on here? Why are there little blue? Well, maybe those are other players running around. Yeah, okay. So the blue triangles are other players. The yellow little things, those are quest things to do. So using expressions. Okay, let's talk expressions, because I don't know about you, but I loved expressing myself. Or I love, not loved. I say, look out when I see spiders incoming enemy, incoming enemy fire, or to just zombies I just vanquished. Why don't you give it a try? Press left and find look out. All right. Um, so we can talk, move out, look out, help. Oh, look at this, we can also do our gestures. We do like a funny thing. I know that's not what she asked me to do. Oh man, so look out. That's pretty cool. Look out to you too. <laughs> okay, next, pressing up brings up favorites. You can add any expression to your favorites. Try it, favorite, favorite and expression. So if we go to our expressions, I can add one. So I can add like silly faces. I could add, you know, my taunts. I definitely wanna do my taunts for right now. So now I should be able to do my happy job. Awesome. Aw, you're my favorite. Okay, one last thing. Right will bring up gestures. Oh, okay. You can favorite your gestures just like anything else. And if you hit down, you'll do one of your favorite gestures randomly. What? So yeah, I guess if we press right, it's only the gestures. And then you just explore to give me coins. And if I press down, it'll randomly do one of my gestures. That is super duper awesome. So, I wanna keep looking around because it looks like there might still be more. What is this? Uh, zombies are laying the boogie down on town center. Help me stop them. We'll do that at some point. Is that like story mode mission? I don't really know. What about this one? Calling all adventures, uncanny danger abound. Visit Mount Steep. Whoa. I'm not quite ready to do that stuff, but I will definitely keep it in mind. Um, What's going on over this way? Oh, we can join the zombie side. Maybe we'll do that later in today's episode. I did miss something over this way. Also, we have the super jump hyper. I wonder if we can change it to the super speed. The reward Otra 9000. Help, I'm a plant trapped in a stuffy. Free me from my prison. <laughs> JK, JK, it's me, Major Sweetie. This is just a recorded message. Now, oh, I think I was supposed to do this one first. Now to a serious business, the reward Otra 9000. Go get something from it. Then come back and show me what you got. Here are some coins. Ooh, what is this? 30,000 coins. Mr. Rewardo Charm 9000, how did I miss this? Um. Oh, interesting, so we can buy a capsule. Whoa. Crash cap uh, hat, it's like plants for your head, or pants for your head. Who was that for? I guess we'll have to go and find out, but I guess that's how we get customizations now. A little bit different than before, that's for sure. But anyways, I did it. I purchased a reward from the Rewardo Tron. You did it, I hope you got something good. You deserve it. So there we go, we got that, you're gonna explode, and we get a bunch more coins. So how many more things are there to do? It looks like only two more. I did wanna quickly respawn. I mean, maybe this isn't the right place to do this. I wanted to see if I couldn't customize, yeah, customize visuals. Oh, okay. So this is where costumes, standard look for pea shooter, but then there's also stuff like hats, accessories. Gotcha. So what I was looking for was abilities. I don't know, maybe there isn't a hyper in this one. Maybe there's just a super jump. If you guys know, feel free to let me know. Um, 
But yeah, there should still be two more things to do down this way. Wow, look at this view. This is amazing. That's a really tall cactus. <laughs> We're gonna have to talk to you in a moment. Giddy Park. Down below is Giddy Park. It's a PVP area with plants and zombies. It's a great place to goof around and practice destroying zombies. <laughs> Can you do that for me? Vanquish a zombie? It would make me so happy. Wow. Okay, so we gotta go vanquish a zombie from down in Giddy Park? Travel tip. These air jumps lead to Giddy Park and danger. It's where local plants and zombies battle nonstop. End of travel tip. You are so tall. Like you're, the, are the, the cactus is just, the cacti just look like this now? I always visit Uno Taco when I tour around the travel center. Gotta keep that in mind. So we can just go. Whoa! <laughs> Giddy Park! Oh, this is so cool! Look at this place! Oh, I wanna go in the Ferris wheel. Wait, 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 wait for me, Ferris wheel. Maybe I can snipe out some zombies from up here. So there are other zombie players running around. Is that the idea? I, oh, oh, I see a zombie over that way. Well, that's just a normal zombie. But you know what? That'll count for my quest, so I'm willing to do it. Look at how high up we are! Oh, and there's a giant dam and hot air balloons and everything. That's really cool. Okay, a little Ferris wheel. There's a Citron rolling around. Maybe I can hang out with him. He can help me out. Oh, there's the zombie. Zombie, come back. I need to vanquish you. Oh, boy. Oh, there's another one. What are you doing over there? So even if there aren't other players, there we go. Does that count? Nice vanquish. Don't forget to tell the stuffy and get your reward. So how do I go back? Am I just stuck here? Ow, oh, who was that? Who did it? Oh, there's a lot of them too. I am not doing very good with my aiming right now. <laughs> okay, well, I'll leave that for later if you guys don't mind. And I'll try to get back over to uh, Dave Manor, I think it was. But so far, my first impressions on this game, absolutely amazing. This is super duper cool. I'm having a ton of fun. And how do I get back? Um. I don't see a way to leave. Oh, maybe this rock? War poem, here we go. See ya! <laughs> yep, and we're home. So where is that stuff yet? Should be right down here. And this is where I guess I could open it up so that friends could join. Yep, set preferences uh, for public or private Giddy Park social area. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. For right now, we are going down this way. Vanquish a zombie, I did it. Yay, you did it! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! You're welcome. See ya. This is looking like it's gonna be the Plants vs. Zombies game of my dreams so far. This is so much fun. So one more little happy stuffy sunflower to do, then maybe we'll go to the zombies and see if they have anything similar. Maybe we'll have stuffy things to do there, I'm not really sure. But we'll at least go over all the available classes. Warp home. Sometimes, don't you just want a warp home? Kitty Park, the base, it's just so big. It's easy to get lost. But you can open the pause menu and choose Warp Home. Why don't you give it a try, then come right back here. All right, sure. So use Warp Home from the pause menu, like we just did. Oh, so I might have done these out of order. Sorry. Welcome back, remember to talk to the stuffy again for your reward. So let's go back down there. Uh, don't try to get too confused here. But it looks like there's like different places to go. I think those are supposed to be like single player story missions, but I don't really know. That's the kind of thing we'll find out in the upcoming episode, so stay tuned. There you are again, see? There's some, nothing to it. Wow, okay. Ooh, and all these coins. 5,000 coins granted. So that's all of them done. So let's talk to the uh, sergeant again, whatever her name was, I forgot, I'm sorry. Maybe she'll give us like some kind of major reward. That'd be cool. Uh, this battle could do with more sparkles and sprinkles. New recruit, looky you go. I almost wanna drop and give myself 20, I'm so impressed. Okay, you can have what's in this treasure chest. Ooh, now I think you're ready for a really important mission. Ooh, what's this? Report to me in town center for my sinister plan. Tee -hee 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 -hee. Ooh, what is that about? But first let's open up this chest. We get ourselves 60,000 coins. That's cool. Uh, this invasion's got nothing on you. So we're in the town center though, right? Or are we not? Where are we again? <laughs> I think we're in Dave Manor. How do I get to the town center? Maybe I can talk to her again. That would be helpful. Hey. Forward march to say hi. 
Sorry, recruit, I've taught you everything you need to know here. Come see me in town center if you're lonesome, though. That's my command post. Don't ask how I get there so fast, I am everywhere. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to get to town center. I mean, maybe this, right? Uh, maybe this was town center, I can't remember. Whoa, look at you. You're huge. You look a lot different than Torchwood and Garden Warfare 2, that's for sure. Uh, zombies are playing in the boogie down on town center. Help me stop them, I will. First, nice to meet you, I'm Vivian. Second, I know how I look and I'm suitably embarrassed. Thirdly, help! <laughs> Neighborville's town center is under attack. Zombies are trapping plants and gizmos that force them to dance forever. If they trap all of the plants, the humans will be defenseless. So are there humans in this one? Because besides Crazy Dave, there's never humans in PBZ games. I got trapped for so long, I look like this. Now, I even wake up dancing. <sighs> if you wanna help, this RV named Penny can take you to town center. Major Sweetie will meet you there to work out a way to save Neighborville. Please do everything you can. Oh man, I've got sparkles on my hands. So it looks like this is something we can do. Sundrop Hills, access point to travel to Sundrop Hills in town center region. Okay, whoa, what is this? Okay, hold on. Sundrop Hills in town center. The zombies are capturing plants in traps that force them to dance forever. If all plant, all the plants are captured, the town's brains will be defenseless. Report to Major Sweetie in town center. And it looks like it's 0% complete. There is a ton of things to find. And there's taco resources. There's also some main region rewards. Um, something for the sunflower, rose, chomper, and for the acorn. That's really cool. So I can preview the items, like this is the pool party set. Uh, this is the royal rose set. This is the captain crab cake set. And then finally, the pink catastrophe set. Wow, that looks cool, I like that one a lot. All right, so you know what, we have time today. Let's go go for it. We'll try this out. I don't know if we'll be able to get all of it complete, but maybe we can get a little bit of it complete. That'll be really fun. We'll check out more of it in a future episode for sure. And off we go with Penny. This is gonna be cool. Whoa, here we are at the town center. Like I said, I don't know how far I'm gonna get into this today, but we'll at least try it out for a little bit. Report to Major Sweetie. All righty. So where's Major Sweetie at? I see two people could talk to you. So there's like more you can do here. Oh, Private Warren. If you've got the time for tacos, you've got time to attack Taco the enemy. Oh, I get it. You are so cool looking. Oh, here you are, Major Penny. This place is so pretty. The battle for Neighborville rages on with happiness. You're here, yay! I've got dang a dangerous mission I can't wait to assign to you. Boogie Beatdown, the battle for Neighborville is like a pool that's all deep end. Put on your swimsuit because you're busting an old cools club, formerly known as the Thunderdome, and taking him down. Interesting, let's begin our quest. We'll get a medal, a lawnmower, 5,000 coins, and 10 tacos. Sure. Boogie Beatdown, enter the Thunderdome and vanquish old cool. This is really cool. Uh, Rook, rookie Poopsie, what? I don't know. Okay, training is training's over, town center needs you. A zombie named Old School is dropping boogie traps all over town from his exclusive club. Soon as a plant steps in one, they can't do anything but dance forever. If we all get trapped, the town's brains will be up for grabs and bites. I need your help. Rest assured, I'm not sending you to do anything you can't handle. Your first mission is to go to Old School's exclusive club to stop him and save us all, okay? Aw, first dangerous mission. I'm definitely scrapbooking about this later. Hehe. <laughs> I'll unfree any plants you find caught in bookie traps. I'll do what I can. So there's like lots to do here then. Like yeah, the town center right over this way. Placing a waypoint, whoa, is it big enough for waypoints? Uh, use map cursor to set a waypoint on map locations, following the compass to the location. Never forget, waypoints are fun. So here we are, this is, I I guess the town center map, and we're specifically down there at Sundrop Hills. We can look at our progress for the town center. Lots of things are happening here. Um, wow, okay. So obviously we're not getting all that done in today's episode, but I will do what I can to just make some progress today. Of course, we'll also be playing online, doing different game modes like that. That might be something I start next episode. The Thunderdome isn't far off. Pop in there and annihilate old's cool. Whoa, there's some other guys down that way as well. This place is so huge. We're gonna be spending so much time exploring everything. Oh man. 
Whoa! Who are you? Scram, Lamo! Oh, can't get past him. Okay. Don't know what's with him, but uh, all right. Oh, there's oh, here's a chest. Uh, and I can just open this up. So there's like I think like over 50 chests, and that gave me pee in the pool. <laughs> it also gave me three tacos and a good couple coins. 20 tacos in the chest. Wow. What's going on here? I mean, first off, I can get rid of the zombie. A plant in a boogie trap can't do anything but dance. It's awful. So how do I get rid of you? It looks like I need to attack this thing. Oh, and there's the scientist. Uh, that moving thingy powers up the bo boogie trap. Shoot it. I won't a second. Hold on. Let's do that. Maybe that'll help. Poor Snapdragon that was forced to dance. There it is. Let's get him. All right. Get rid of, get rid of that guy. You're like a triple rainbow over dolphins singing about unicorns. Totally unreal. Oh, so that guy was stuck. I need to go save him. All right, let's do that really fast. I always doing this expecting to run any faster than I normally do. Oh, I do have like a nice little floating jump. I didn't realize that. How do I do that? I don't know. It didn't work the second time. Another one. Old school is cranking up the volume. Okay. Well, there's some people attacking me. That's fine. I'll, I'll work with it. So some of them are dropping tacos. You made made that look easy and adorable. Citron's helping us out. He looks so cool. I don't see anybody else trapped for now. But the, we got a little team building up now, following us around. Oh my gosh, I still can't believe this is happening. Like I feel like I'm gonna wake up from a dream or something. I don't know. But we are moving down this way. And something's going on down there. Okay, so this is where Old School's exclusive club is. And then there's the passing gas again. <laughs> okay, um, let's go down this way. Are they, they're still following me, that's good. Oh, we got a couple of zombies waiting for us though. Is that him? No, no, that's a robot, again. Get rid of all the zombies. Plants are helping me. Another chest, I'll focus on the chest later. There's a little, there's the secret door to Old School's exclusive club. Bleep bloop, not cool enough. Not cool enough? I don't know about that. Bouncer bot is programmed to only allow cool zombies inside. You are clearly uncool and unzombie. Get lost. Not good. Next. Uh, what do we do now? Well, I think you're cool. Come back to the base and we'll think of a new plan. Okay. Is there any way to teleport back or do I just have to walk? I guess I have to walk. This area looks so cool. The whole game is really pretty. I'm loving the new art style. I mean, it's not all too different. It's just like little things here and there are just a little bit different, which I like. Are those zombies dancing around that boogie trap, the lawnmower? Oh, uh, let's yeah, deal with some of you guys. Why did my beam get thrown over that way? That's not good. Let's get rid of you, come on, quickly. Where are you? I can't even tell. Gotcha. And then this. I can't see. There it is, there it is. Come on, almost, almost. Yeah, we saved the lawnmower. So what will that do? I don't know, can we ride it? <laughs> Checkpoint reached. Ooh. That cool gardening tool could be exactly what we need. Get it back to me safely. All right. Let's get rid of these guys, come on. Protect the lawnmower. Usually the lawnmowers do the protecting, but not this time. <laughs> oh, there's a, uh, a cool lawnmower. Don't you dare take it from me. There we go. I don't see any other zombies around here just yet. I'll st stand on the van for some extra vantage point. It's moving. This is so cool. I know I keep just gawking about how cool it is, but I can you really blame me? This is awesome. There's somebody's house in here. Somebody watching TV in there? That's what it looks like it. Where did it go? It's right over this way. Why is it going the long way around? Who knows? Oh gosh, here we go. It's red, cool. The zombies actually really like this lawnmower. Don't you dare take it from me. The scientist looks a lot different. It looks like he plays differently too. We'll be doing showcases on every class there is, not just the, the new classes, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, over this way, ow, ooh, what happened there? I don't know. Come on, got him. His, his shield is becoming a big problem. I love lawnmower. <laughs> this is awesome. There we go. Is this guy gonna move now? Let's hope. Come on, get a move on. 
he's going the really long way around. For whatever reason. So we're supposed to be going over there, right? Maybe not. <laughs> Gotta go across the crosswalk, that's it. He was just trying to be a good pedestrian. I understand now. Can't blame him for that. Oh wait, no, no, now he's jaywalking. <laughs> Never mind. I take it back. Oh gosh, more of them. Ain't red cool. <laughs> Not very original. The other one already said that. There we go, come on. Got it. They're all saying it's red. They really like the color red. Well, that was good. Can I shoot you to get a move on? Not really. We're almost there. Come on, you can do it. I mean, I don't understand that this lawnmower has a mind of its own to begin with, but it's also a game about plants and zombies, so <laughs> I can give it a pass. All righty, we've made it. Sort of, almost. Don't get stopped by any more zombies. There we go, escort lawnmower completed. Boogie Beat Town quest complete. Well, sort of, we still have more we can do. I would like to at least take on this uh, old school guy. Don't t take what that bouncer said personally, okay? Yeah. Bouncers are made by z -Tech. It'll only ever think zombie stuff is cool. But this lawnmower the zombies loved gave me an idea so stupid, it'll blow the bouncers away. Oh, I burped, I'm sorry. <laughs> Time for Operation Makeover. To get old school, we gotta make lawnmowers look like the coolest zombie ever. So what if you loot cool swag from old school's fashionista friends? Just get the Baron's hat, Yeti's bling, and Sensei's goatee. Then I glitter glue that cool swag to this lawnmower, making it into the mind blower. My field agents will help. Talk to Corny Corn, Tender Leaf, and Landfill. Corny Corn is nearby. Ooh, I love it when makeovers end in explosions. And I super love plants who trade tacos with Sergeant Peel. Help feed humans and get gear. All righty, well, as you can see, lawnmower, get cool swag for the, the, the to fool the Z-Tech uh, bouncers. Sweet talker, boss gate discovered, 5,000 coins. Then there's another chest right here. We'll open up this one to finish things off. 10 tacos collected. Um, and we get 7,500 coins out of that one as well. And another five tacos, another 35 coins. So let's take a look really quickly at our progress through this. And there's also medals, so like different little achievements we can achieve. Um, so we're 3% complete. Just doing that was 3%. So we have so much more we can do in this game. Um, but out of all that, we unlocked two out of the 50 chests, two out of the 50 medals, and there's still just so much more to do. So we'll be doing more of that, I think, in the next episode. But for right now, there's only one thing I really wanted to do. It's gonna be returning to Giddy Park and checking out the zombie team in the zombie area real fast. I don't wanna to spend too much time on it because we'll be doing that more in the upcoming episodes. But uh, yeah, for right now, let's just go ahead and take a look. So here we are back at Dave Manor, but I'm not staying here for very long. We're actually going to go over this way and just sort of see what new things might be going on with the zombies. So uh, we have, where is it? Or is it over here? Yeah, we can change to the zombie side at any time. I don't know if there'll be more zombie related quests. Team, team switch, swap between playing as plants or zombies, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Whoa, we start as a soldier, and soldier seems like he plays quite similar to how he has in the past. That is awesome. So here we are at the Z-Tech factory, I can only imagine. And his rucks here too? Yeah, of course he's impartial, plants and zombies, he just wants the money. It doesn't look like there are as many quests, but I'm sure there's still something, right? Like that's probably, the, the bushbulance? Where does that bring me? This is the town center. So I guess there's some zombie things to do in the town center. Over this way is the weirding woods. Wow, okay, I'm starting to get this a little bit more. Um, Beyond that though, promotions await over this way and dance hall of obedience. Whoa, this is cool. Hey buddy. I see you're checking out this dance hall. Just so you know, I've got the highest score ever and lowest score. I mean, I'm the best in both directions. Step right up if you think you can do better or better worse, dweeb. I'll keep that in mind. Dance hall of obedience. Earn coins for staying alive. Start event by stepping onto the dance floor. Pattern on wall indicates which floor tile will electrify. Last one standing wins. Wow. Very interesting. So the one thing I wanted to check out for the zombie side is all of the new zombie variants, just all of them, all the zombie classes. We have the foot soldier, 
the imp with the mech. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Uh, Super Brains, 80s action hero. Electric Slide, oh, her name's Electric Slide, very interesting. Uh, Captain Deadbeard, All-Star, Space Cadet Zombie, Scientist Zombie, and Engineer Zombie. How cool is that? Lots of cool stuff to be checking out in the upcoming episodes. And I think how I'm gonna do this is that I'll be doing a story mode episode, then an online multiplayer episode, then a story mode episode, online multiplayer, and bounce between that so we can get best of both worlds and really experience everything. So next episode, I'm gonna be going online and battling people there. I might even showcase a class. Maybe we'll do more pea shooter, maybe we'll do something else. Then after that, I'll do another story mode episode, so on and so forth until we get everything in the game done. There's so much to do, so stay tuned for a ton of episodes. But for right now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Neighbor so that you've watched the end of the URA Zebra Tazic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.